Hello, welcome back. So today we are going to see this amazing topic, server side tracking on WooCommerce store with one P domain tracking for better attribution. So let's get started. So it's a well known fact that third party cookies on the browser side are dead long back. And along with the third party cookies, they also took down the effective retargeting. Now what marketers did not see coming is, even if the cookies are set on the server side by a different domain, that's a third party, they are blocked. So your WooCommerce store will not be able to store that date if you if you are setting cookies using third party domain even on the server side. The ITP 2.3 update automatically deletes the third party cookies after seven days on various browsers such as Safari, Firefox, Google Chrome will soon join the leak. Now this creates a very short window for attribution, complicating tracking the entire user interactions and conversion attribution. For example, Facebook defaults to a seven day attribution window and GA4 reports a higher number of new users due to this cookie expires. As a result, reaching out to abandoned cart users via email, SMS and WhatsApp campaigns becomes very difficult. For instance, an accurate conversion tracking is compromised leading to poor attribution and conversion in ad campaigns. When different to GA4, it's like, for example, let's say there are only 10 users who visited your website in the span of, let's say, 30 days. GA4 might report 30 users or even 20 users because the cookies expire after seven days. And after seven days, it is again taking them as a new users. So that's the problem that you might face. The only solution to overcome this problem for your WooCommerce store is to adopt server side tracking with 1P domain tracking. Now let's dive in to know more about 1P domain tracking and how this whole server set tracking improves your attribution accuracy across ad campaigns. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to understand how you can improve your ad campaign performance, be it retargeting ad campaigns or any other ad campaigns, how you can improve your conversion rates and your overall ad campaign performance across meta ads and Google ads using server set tracking. First, what is 1P domain tracking that is server side first party cookie tracking. 1P domain tracking for your WooCommerce store involves setting first party cookies from the server side. And using this, you will track your user's journey across. These 1P cookies or the first party cookies originate from the first party domain itself rather than from a third party domain or a different domain. This means that when a user visits your WooCommerce store, the cookies are created and managed by your domain. Now, ad blockers or browsers like Safari, Firefox, like we mentioned, will not deprecate or block these first party cookies set by your own domain because they recognize these as first party cookies. Therefore, they, these cookies have a longer lifespan and will have an improved data retention. Now, how does this 1P domain tracking work on the server side? First, before I mean explain to you about how the server side 1P domain tracking work, let, let me just give you a gist of how a traditional client side cookie tracking works. So that will help you understand how the server side cookie 1P domain tracking works. So in traditional client side cookie settings, cookies are often set by third party scripts or even by first party scripts that are influenced by third party domains. This will cause the ITP 2.3 based browsers and also ad blockers to block these cookies. However, with server side tracking with 1P domain tracking, the entire process is handled server side. So when a user visits your domain and land, that is he lands on your website, the cookies are set directly from your first party domain, such as www.yourwebsite.com or whatever your website domain name is, that.com or subdomain. So www also is considered a subdomain sometimes or 1p.yourwebsite.com is also considered a subdomain. So this will ensure that this cookie that you have set is recognized as a first party cookie by the browser or all or the ad or these ad blockers. By managing cookies on the server side from your first party domain, you achieve more consistent and reliable data retention, which is very crucial for accurate tracking and attribution. Let me explain you in more detail how this will work with more technical insights. So when a user lands on your website, 1P domain tracking on the server side makes use of your subdomain. 
like I was mentioning, 1p.yourwebsite.com or blog.yourwebsite.com or www.yourwebsite.com or anything. These subdomains should not be mapped to any external domain via the C name. Only then you will be able to set the cookies from the first party domain, which allows the cookies to bypass these restrictions imported by the browsers or third party cookies. As they are not mapped to external domain, that the as the subdomain is not mapped to external domain via C name, C name, the browsers like Safari and Firefox will treat these cookies as first party and will not delete them even after seven days. So first the user lands, cookies are set by your domain, and uh, throughout the journey, even after the seventh day, the cookie is retained. And if on the eighth day the user directly visits the website, he is not treated as a direct user, but he is mapped with the details that he is sub first given on the first visit of the website. Therefore, the journey is continuous, seamless and cohesive when you look at it. These purchases that is even beyond seven days can be accurately attributed back to ad platforms with cookie with uh, click IDs when you are going with the server side one P domain tracking. So I think this is very pretty much clear. So now let's see the importance of setting up first party cookies for your WooCommerce store or maybe what you will get when you implement server set tracking with 1p domain tracking for your WooCommerce store. The importance of setting up this one uh, server one p server set cookies. So first conversion attribution accuracy. Server set tracking with first party domain cookies enhances conversion tracking by providing a longer data retention period. This will ensure that the user's interactions are accurately tracked and attributed avoiding the common pitfalls of short-lived cookies. For example, let's imagine a user clicks on a paid ad and visits your website, but he will not make a purchase immediately. Traditional cookies expire before the user returns, let's assume. This will lead to conversion being attributed to a direct visit instead of the original. This will make you believe that the campaign is not working and there are no conversions coming from that. But that's not, the, that's not right, you know that now. Now, with 1P domain server set tracking, this data is retained in the server, ensuring correct event data along with the user details is sent to ad platforms, resulting in accurate attribution to the correct ad from which you, the user has been acquired. Therefore, when you leverage server set tracking for your WooCommerce store with 1P domain tracking, you can accurately attribute the conversions even beyond seven days. That's what I explained and how it how this entire server side one period of tracking works number two enhanced identity resolution so server side tracking with one p domain tracking using customer labs helps you store the user's data for a longer period of time while helping you leverage advanced identity graph technology using stitcher 2.0 with an extended cookie lifespan the identity resolution becomes more effective this allows you to unify user profiles across different sessions and touch points, creating a comprehensive 360 degree view of your customers and improving ad personalization across ad platforms. By enabling collection and unification of external IDs and click IDs from the user's first interaction under the cookie, under the lifetime cookie, the right acquisition channel gets the credit, avoiding costs due to misattribution. This will give you a clear understanding of how your customers and where they're converting and which touch point is leading to a conversion for your WooCommerce store or which first touch point or which last touch point led to a conversion. Now let's see how to implement server set tracking with 1P domain tracking for your WooCommerce store. Once you subscribe and add on the 1P domain tracking in customer labs app, you go to settings and navigate. I think it let me let me show you this thing. So here's how it is. So you'll add on this one P domain tracking and then you'll go to your custom labs and then you'll go to settings, click on add domain. I mean in the one settings, one P domain, and then click on add domain. After this, what you'll do is you'll just give your subdomain. So www prefix also is a valid subdomain. Right. Uh, by the way, here, once you click on add domain, you have to give, give the naked domain, naked domain as in you'll have to give the domain without this any prefix such as HTTPS or uh, what do you call www.http all this. Now, once you add that, you'll be giving the subdomain, you will click on next. Now you have two choices. What we would recommend is going with the choose uh, service. So that is a recommended thing. 
So you can also have your, and you also have an option to add your own Cloudflare account. But then what we recommend is going with the managed service. Now you'll click on that and uh, you'll be proceeding with the migration process of your DNS, DNS provider in your Cloudflare. The verification has to be done in like almost seven days. Like once you click on this verified DNS, you'll get an email. You'll be accepting it and automatically you will be, I mean, your, I mean, your domain is generating first party cookies. Now we have to map these name servers assigned in the Cloudflare. So in, in your Cloudflare account. So once after you accept the invite. So after you do that, again, it's the same thing. You will come back to one P domain, I mean, the, the dashboard of custom labs account and then click on one P domain tracking code, copy this code and put this code in your uh, website. So that is how you'll be doing. So once you do this, you are actually connecting. I mean, you have actually connected your WooCommerce store with customer labs through one P domain tracking on the server side. Once again, check if you install the WooCommerce conversion tracking plugin correctly for your store and if all the default events uh, to be tracked are selected. So for example, I just show you how, if you are not sure how it will look like, uh, yep. So this is how it will look like if you look at it. So for in your WooCommerce store, you'll go to custom labs plugin. You will be giving the custom labs app ID and you'll choose all the events that you are tracked. So just verify this once and you're good to go with complete server side tracking with one P domain tracking. How do you verify if your server side tracking with first party domain is effective? So once you set up this, you'll be seeing, once you click on verify DNS, you'll be seeing this verify status, so success and then verify. So once you find that verify status in the one P domain tracking dashboard in custom labs, it, it's all, almost set up. So you'll have to go and check if the records have been verified. So once you do that, you can also go to your website and enter the domain, your own domain, you go to your website that is, and here you can find that the cookie is set by your own domain. So this is how you'll be verifying if server side one P domain tracking for your WooCommerce story setup. So you'll enter your URL in, in, in a new browser or a different browser and then see how the cookies are set in this thing. So you can find here in this if you inspect element and if you see how the cookies are set you will see if you do not set up this one p domain tracking on the server side you will be seeing for a different i mean any domain a different url will be setting up this these uh, cookies so once you verify this you can be 100 percent sure that your server side tracking is effective through customer labs one p domain tracking now let's see the benefits of server side one p domain tracking number one navigating the private data privacy landscape in an era marked by stringent data privacy regulations such as GDPR and CCPA, alongside the deprecation of third-party cookies, businesses must navigate a complex landscape to ensure that they are complying with these data privacy laws while maintaining effective marketing strategies. The server-side one-p domain tracking offers a robust solution enabling companies to retain valuable user data within the bounds of legal frameworks. By shifting to 1P domain tracking with service side tracking, organizations not only enhance their data retention capabilities, but also align with evolving privacy standards, that is data privacy standards. This will ensure that the user data is collected, processed and stored and sent to ad platforms responsibly on the service side. This approach mitigates the risk associated with third party cookie tracking and the ad blockers providing you with a sustainable and privacy compliant pathway. Next, number two, accurate data collection and conversion tracking inside ad platforms. So these two are very, very much crucial for effective ad campaigns optimization. With server side one p domain tracking, WooCommerce marketers can ensure that the data is captured comprehensively across all user interactions without signal loss and they will be able to sync all this conversion data inside ad platforms accurately. This will lead to accurate conversion attribution while also seeing the true campaign performance. Next, number three, optimizing ad campaigns. When all the high quality first party data is sent through server side connections to Meta Ads and Google Ads, you are training the ad algorithms with high quality first party data. This will help the marketers with more effective retargeting strategies and to increase ad targeting precisions. This all will result in overall ad campaign optimization. 
Next, number four, complete data control. One of the key advantages of server-side one-p domain tracking is the level of control it provides over your data. With this approach, WooCommerce store owners can manage and retain their customer data and significantly reduce the reliance on third-party cookies or third-party data. This means you will have a full oversight of how the data is collected, how it is processed, and how you can utilize ensuring compliance with data privacy regulations and safeguarding against unauthorized access or data breaches. This complete data control allows marketers with more accurate data analysis, helping them take better informed decisions. This will help them offer a high degree of personalization in marketing strategies or in marketing ad campaigns. By owning this entire data pipeline from data collection to utilization, businesses and marketers can optimize their ad campaigns more effectively and maintain a competitive edge in this data-driven world. Next, number five, enrich the data. Server-side 1P domain tracking will not only ensure accurate data collection, but also enhances the quality of data you collect. By managing the data on your own server, you can combine various data sources such as website interactions, CRM entries, and then offline data points, all of that into one single unified profile. This enriched data will provide with a more comprehensive understanding of your customers' behaviors and preferences. This will enable you to create precise audience segmentation with, to help them to help your users get a personalized ad experience. This data enrichment also supports advanced and machine learning models leading to effective prediction of customer needs and more targeted marketing strategies. So if you have a data analyst or data scientist, you can use this advanced machine learning models and send this data collected on the server side enriched and come up with your own marketing strategies. Therefore, businesses can leverage this server side tracking and create more engaging and relevant customer experience, ultimately driving higher conversion rates and customer satisfaction. Next, number six, retargeting WooCommerce store visitors. So when you're collecting the data through server side uh, for your, on your WooCommerce store, you will be collecting all the users who are not even logging in. A fun fact is 98% of your WooCommerce store visitors are anonymous. That is, they don't sign up, they don't give you email ID, phone number, etc. Now, when you don't have all of their known details, it is very difficult, highly difficult to target them across ad platforms. So, with service tracking, you can collect their data such as click IDs, their browser ID, device ID, etc, etc. And activate these anonymous visitors by retargeting them across ad platforms. Next, number seven, service tracking will help you collect event data with a lot of signals. So these signals will obviously help ad platforms to match these events with the users, giving you a higher event match quality score, especially on meta ads. We have seen this next number eight, higher custom audience match rates. So Service tracking with 1P domain will help you, combined with custom labs, will help you accumulate your user data across over time for let's say 90 days, 60 days, 180 days or whatever. This entire audience segment when synced to ad platforms with all the user data collected throughout all this time and send it to ad platforms like Meta Ads, Google Ads, TikTok, etc. You will be seeing near custom audience match rates for both anonymous and known users. That's the power of, that's the benefit of server set tracking. Next, last, now number nine, but not the least benefit, it is maximized ad campaign performance. This lifetime cookies, this high custom audience match rate and high EMQ, all of this will help you with advanced, uh, no, no, it will help the ad platforms with learning, will help the advanced ad algorithms to, Target the right audience in the right time with the, and you will be giving the right messaging. All of this will lead to improved and maximized ad campaign performance, giving you better. Let me share with you one interesting case study that we had from one of our clients, Cooked. So Cooked is a e-commerce platform where they sell these recipes, like food recipes. If you're a food blogger, you have to try, try their recipes for sure. 
so yeah so these amazing recipes they will be selling it on the on their online platform so they have used the server side tracking with one p domain tracking using custom labs and have slashed their cac the customer acquisition cost by 45% let's see how now so what we did was they have we helped them enable server side tracking with one p domain tracking so this with this we have browser cookies saved in the server forever therefore all the fb click id g, uh, g click id or google click id are collected and stored forever in customer labs i mean in their account this helped in attribution and significantly lifted the roas with server side tracking implemented they also created synthetic events and synced them through server side to meta ads these custom conversion events created on the server side were aimed at optimizing for high aov purchase events their goals were realigned from solely looking at roas as a result metric to focusing on cac and incremental revenue the final result they have seen 45% reduction in their cac 35% increase in their roas and drastic they were able to also visualize the incremental revenue that they are getting out from their ad campaigns therefore by understanding and implementing server side tracking with one p domain tracking woocommerce store owners can overcome the limitations of traditional cookie tracking and also the traditional default events event tracking this and therefore they can implement this server side tracking to ensure longer data retention better attribution accuracy and improve ad performance so to conclude server side tracking with one p domain tracking offers woocommerce store marketers or owners robust solution to limitations that are caused by traditional cookie tracking implementing one p domain tracking allows for improved id resolution and an extended cookie life span ultimately providing a comprehensive view of your customer behavior across multiple website sessions and touch points with server side tracking combined with the power of one p domain tracking you will not only be able to track the data without signal loss but also retain this data for a long time ensuring accurate conversion tracking and better attribution across ad platforms leading to enhanced marketing marketing effectiveness and increased roas are you ready to transform your attribution accuracy and marketing effectiveness look no more look no further get started with custom labs to set up server side tracking with one p domain tracking seamlessly for your woocommerce store and leverage the full power of one pd ops or first party data ops so for detailed instructions of setup or any support you need you can comment below or contact our one pd ops specialists and engineers and let's make your woocommerce store a powerful world like powerful powerhouse of data driven success now let's see some of the frequently asked questions that most of you might be having or you know if you don't have also just you, know, you can just get some perspectives and some idea so first what is server side tracking server side tracking captures users behavior data on the server side and is unaffected by all any of the tracking prevention mechanisms such as itp 2.3 for safari and firefox etc and also the ad blockers next number 2 what is the difference between browser and server side tracking so browser side tracking or client side tracking uses third party cookies set on the browser side and once the user deletes the cookies or once after 7 days automatically they'll be deleted and all the user behavior data that you collected is gone where with server side tracking it is it susceptible to data challenges due to client side issues like we saw like an interrupted connection or an ad blocker being installed or using the browser the safari firefox etc etc so it's a very robust connection which is tracking the user's data from the server side next number 3 do i need server side tracking yeah so to navigate the future of data privacy server side tracking will be the need of the hour most businesses have already migrated to server side tracking and are in the journey of first party data if you also want to leverage the full potential of your users data server side tracking is a must next what are the challenges one is while implementing server side tracking one of the major challenges every marketer or every business owner will face while implementing server side tracking is the implementation itself because it involves a lot of coding and it requires a developer's help even after you set up and install if you want any modifications to be done in future or if you want to create synthetic events or set up server side tracking on a different web page 
it again requires the same amount of time and effort so to mitigate all of this you can happily choose so customer labs which helps you set up server side tracking with one p domain tracking which helps you boost your marketing efforts next how does server side one p domain tracking improve attribution accuracy so when you implement server side one p domain tracking you can track the users behavior data across multiple website sessions and touch points now when you track all of this conversion data and send it back to ad platforms with all the user details the ad platforms can better match the conversion with the ad campaign this will result in the true campaign performance so that you can see see the actually how the campaign is performing this is how you can improve your attribution accuracy for your ad campaigns so that's it from my side if you have any questions join our community the one pd ops community for you for marketers like you join there and ask all your doubts there are a lot of experts there who will answer all of your doubts you can also comment below don't forget to subscribe to custom lab channel and turn on the notifications to get all these videos delivered straight to you if you find this video informative do share it with your friends and also give a like thank you have a good day